Chapter one of our video diary of the week with Mr. and Mrs. Lyle. There's Mr. Lyle. There's Mrs. Lyle. And here we are, as you can see in the background, at the Slimbridge Wetlands and Wildfowl Trust Centre. And because it's wetlands and wildfowl, fowl, we are on our way to see the otters, as you do. See you later. Bye. A warning to Anna G. Do not visit this place. There are lots of birds that fly just over your head. And as the sun sets in the west, Mr. and Mrs. Lyle gaze out upon the ponds full of pintails and mallards that we've just learnt all about and maybe even a Berwick swan. Let's see what they're looking at. This is my audition for Spring Watch. Absolute crap filmmaker. I failed to knock on the Lyle's bedroom door this morning for a fly on the wall insight into their domestic arrangements. I also totally failed to get a close up of the sumptuous breakfast provided by Travel Lodge in their Moto service station. But look behind me and see where I am now. continues just waiting for young Thomas to come down the road then we're going for a coffee and here we have Trevor and Margaret enjoying the bracing new key air having walked up Fistful Beach aka Frodo and Samwise heading to Mount Doom <laughs> And of course, here we are at the place of pilgrimage. So here we are, day three of the video diary finds us at the Lost Gardens of Heligan. And here's our happy little band being videoed joyously as we head off willingly. for the coffee and willingly and very very hungry still after Rand's breakfast but we'll uh, survive the day somehow here we are in the Lost Valley having wandered down through the gardens of Heligan taking a pause to take in the beautiful views Lots of photographers in the party, as you can now see. Let us see how it fares, shooting into the sunlight. And after having explored Halligan to the hilt, here we are sat in Juanita, having had an exciting drive along the Mevagisi harbour wall with one wheel in the harbour there's the kettle on there's the teapots all ready to have the cup of tea and here's Trevor with a can of beer the only sensible one amongst us <laughs> and just to prove we're next to the harbour look out of the window and there it is Margaret's whispering I hope this microphone will pick it up because then I'll be able to hear what she says and embarrass her in the future Let's just pan back while I reach the off switch so we don't get a shaky little end to the clip. Good morning people. 
here we are on our final day in Cornwall. I knew as this was the first attempt to make a video diary there would be mistakes on the way, there would be things I would have to learn, things I would have to do better next time. Yesterday I learned that in order to make a video diary you actually have to take the video camera out with you, not leave it on the side in your bedroom. So for our visit to St Ives and to the seal colony I'm going to have to edit in some of the still photos I took yesterday. Ho hum, never mind, it's all good experience. And so for our final morning, here with the Pearsons, we have of course taken on the challenge of one of Anne's full English, which you will be seeing shortly. Yes, yeah. And here we find the leg end that is Anne Pearson busy over a hot stove oh, getting ready for the <laughs> breakfast. As usual, the Lyles have uh, wimped out. There is only the G boy that is prepared to take on the mega deal that is Anne's full English. Look at this, look at that. I know, well that's, that's just Trevor's coming isn't it really, I mean, it goes hands of both. There's Margaret's plate after her very delicate little bacon sandwich which hardly fitted into a gob and a gob's that big in all that anyway because all the action does. You. Here's Trevor experiencing beans for breakfast, very poor really effort and then here we go. This is what the G boys have. Eat your heart out, Pete G. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. It's a secret location. Somewhere in Cornwall. Going for a walk along the beach to walk off Adam's breakfast. Photographer Trevor adjusting his lens as usual. Don't know who those idiots are, walk running across my shop, but there we go. We filmmakers have these crosses to bear. Poor Tom and Nina. This is the view they have to put up with from their garden. Notice the lesser red breasted Lyles in the foreground. The male showing off his bright red plumage at this time of the year. The female keeping warm with a scarf. Joined by young Tommy himself. And here we find Mr. Lyle stood once more in his natural habitat outside a lady's toilet waiting for you know who to emerge. And here she is emerging from said place. Now, viewer. Did you see Mrs Lyle's hand gesture just then at the end of the recording? In case not, I'm going to play it again, because she likes to portray herself as a right prim and proper young lady, when in actual fact this is very far from the case. Just watch her hand nearest the camera towards the end of the clip. You may be shocked. <laughs> and here she is, emerging from said place. So our little Cornish sojourn is drawing to a close, about to set off back to Darkest in Derbyshire. So here's a little view just to keep us all going until the next visit.